All right, folks. It isn't this. It isn't uh, usual that I bring you things very close to a source. But this is coming from a European source, the uh, Gatestone Institute. Oh, maybe not so much. But an international policy council, and it says Sweden is close to collapse. Uh, it's very sad because Sweden, to me, is a good and noble country. Maybe I'm getting it switched up with others in the Netherlands, but... Anywho, here we go. Well, that would make sense, actually, folks. If you consider it, if you wanted the banking system down, who would you hit? Sweden. They've been doing all the world banking pretty much with the UK since the Viking days. That would actually make a lot of sense. Here we go. Okay, so you can also translate this from Ger into German, Italian, Polish, Spanish. You get the idea. Here's the URL, URL, and I'll put it, you, you know the routine. Ah, where the hell's the title? There we go. Sweden is fast approaching a complete collapse. More and more municipalities are raising the alarm that if the migrants keep coming, at this pace, the government can no longer guarantee normal service to its citizens. In addition, ominous states statements from the government officials have left Sweden in fear of what tomorrow may bring. If migrant waves keep coming in 10 to 15 years, oh, supposedly, Swedes will be a minority in the country. In 10 to 15 years, Sweden will be overrun. It'll happen within weeks and months. It won't be years. But at press conference in October 9, Prime Minister Stefan Lofen said that Sweden is in a state of crisis. When asked to clarify what he meant, Lofen said he was unable to produce a single coherent sentence. All right, the final consequence of Sweden's immigrant policy is economic collapse. Last two weeks, more than a thousand unoccupied refugee children have arrived from Germany via ferry. More than half of them have now vanished and are listed as missing. For the last few weeks, the central train station, Sweden's third largest city, Malmo, or however you pronounce it, I apologize. I've been overrun with migrants, volunteers for that for the first few days showed up with food and water and clothes now seem to have lost interest. That's because they're basically uh, throwing things at them and everything else. So this looks like it has a lot of information. I will let you go over this in more detail. Uh, this is bad folks. Thank you.